The Diedrich Story. The Dietrich family's coffee heritage began in 1916, when Charlotte Dietrich, Stephen and Martin Dietrich's grandmother, owned a small coffee plantation in Costa Rica. Her son, Carl Dietrich Sr., eventually followed in his mother's line of business. Charlotte's hard work and dedication to the coffee business quickly resulted in orders for her fine beans from around the world. In 1946, Carl began a worldwide odyssey to find his place in the coffee industry. Carl learned the craft of coffee roasting while working for a roast master in the old city quarters of Naples, Italy. In the 1950s, upon his return to Germany, Carl met and married Inga, whose own family had a background as coffee, tea and cocoa merchants, dating back to the 1850s. Throughout the years, from both his mother and in-laws, Carl continued to learn the many facets of coffee, from plantation to cup. In the early 1960s, Carl and Inga purchased a coffee plantation in Antigua, Guatemala, where they harvested an average of 400 bags of high-quality Arabica beans each year. Through their own experimentation and learning from others, they developed numerous techniques of growing, processing, and roasting to maximize coffee bean quality and flavor. This passionate and deep understanding of coffee was passed from Carl Dietrich to his sons Martin, Stephen, and Carl Jr., each of whom have embraced the art of coffee in their own way. From 1972 to 1982, Carl drove his 1962 VW van, the 3,000 mile round trip from California through Mexico to Guatemala and back, four to five times a year. And on each return trip, he brought back a van load of 16, 154 pound sacks of raw green coffee. Carl roasted his coffee on a roaster that he and his sons had designed and built with their very own hands. In 1980, Stephen Dietrich started building his first coffee roaster on his own in Southern California. As a result, he created and named his unique business venture Dietrich Coffee Roasters. Throughout the year of engineering, Dietrich Coffee Roasters introduces their first IR12 Kilo Coffee Roaster. Dietrich Coffee, a neighborhood coffee house, was founded in 1983 by Stephen's older brother Martin, who took over the retail, roasting, and importing facets of the family business from his retiring father, Carl. Today, Martin is considered to be one of the pioneers of the coffee house movement throughout the United States. Martin's concept for Diedrich Coffee was to create a community meeting place where people could enjoy a great cup of coffee with their friends and neighbors in an atmosphere that promoted coffee lore and local camaraderie. These original coffee houses proved to be phenomenally successful, prompting Martin to grow and expand. Simultaneously, and a separate business entity, Stevens Diedrich Coffee Roasters were also impacting coffee. Coffee is a real complex product and it is the coffee roasting equipment and the knowledge of the person doing the roasting that makes the difference between an average cup of coffee and a truly exceptional cup of coffee. What, of course, we're known for at Vivace is dead consistency uh, and enormously high quality control standards. So I'm able to maintain a perfectly consistent roast time after time, and I'm able to develop the caramelized sugars beautifully in the beans that I use. Due to the high quality result in the cup, in 1985, Dietrich Coffee Roasters manufactured a large industrial commercial roasting plant for a very successful customer. This success continued with various Dietrich Coffee Roaster owners and a demand for Stevens high quality equipment continued. In addition to Stevens passion for coffee, his pursuit for high quality equipment caused him to rename the company in 1991 to Dietrich Manufacturing Inc. In 1993, throughout their travels, 
Stephen and his wife Becky fell in love with the beauty of the Pacific Northwest, and they moved Dietrich Manufacturing to the scenic mountainous region of northern Idaho in Sandpoint. In 1996, Martin decides to take Dietrich Coffee public on the NASDAQ stock exchange. The company expands to more than 12 Dietrich Coffee houses in Orange County and San Diego. After the company went public, rapid expansion continued and Dietrich Coffee bought several other coffee chains, such as Gloria Jean and Coffee People, establishing itself as the largest mall-based premier provider of specialty flavored whole bean coffees. Stephen and Diedrich Manufacturing continued to build roasters for Martin's Diedrich Coffee Stores, as well as various other coffee houses worldwide. In 1998, Diedrich Manufacturing introduced a small shop roaster, model IR3, which received the Best New Product Award by the Specialty Coffee Association of America. As specialty coffee popularized, Stevens' coined phrase of in-store shop roaster began to further proliferate throughout the industry with further desire to provide Roastmasters high quality tools for precise manipulation and replication. Stephen utilized technology and introduced the first touchscreen automated control system. Many of the innovative features that you find in the Dietrich coffee roasters are there to help the operator improve the quality of the coffee that they're roasting. I do get very repeatable results and um, I guess I was expecting that at first but I, I am still surprised by it that it's, uh, it's very easy to get a consistent roast even with new employees. The Dietrich equipment that, that we're roasting on gives us that perfect consistency. So. They know when they get Vivace in 1993 and they come back in order, and this happens all the time, you say, I haven't had your coffee for years, and I got it, it's the exact same coffee. I say, yep, yeah, <laughs> sure is. I'm right here doing it, and we're roasting it on the Diedrich, and it's perfectly consistent. It wasn't long before both in-store and industrial commercial Dietrich roasters gained a global reputation as the highest quality and most precise roaster on the market providing the opportunity for Roastmasters with the flexibility to hone their skills, many began developing a unique signature cup by new techniques throughout their roast profiles. Such prestigious companies and well-respected Roastmasters are convinced that Dietrich equipment is a key ingredient to their success. One of the key aspects that we find in Dietrich roasting equipment is the ability to maintain a consistent roast profile. The equipment's designed around repeating the same thing over and over again. Our customers require it, the consumer requires it. We have to be consistent and we feel we get a consistent roast with Dietrich's roaster. Although having shipped roasters internationally in the past, it was the turn of the century where demand from international customers led Dietrich Manufacturing to expand by adding a distributor channel in Japan, Germany and Australia. In 2002, Stephen hires management professionals to service the current growth and continue expansion. Michael Whitley, now general manager, and operations manager Timothy Frazier became integral to Dietrich Manufacturing's future success. As a result, exponential growth occurred, and in 2004, the company builds two 280-kilo roasters. In 2004, Martin Dietrich parted ways with his company, Dietrich Coffee, to return to his roots as an independent coffee house operator. With the launch of Key & Coffee, the Dietrich family retail coffee house legacy continues. With the thought of satisfying the demand of coffee enthusiasts, Dietrich Manufacturing's Whitley & Fraser decided to enter into the high-end home consumer market in 2005 debuting its HR1 one-pound home roaster. The versatility and construction of the HR1 has permitted others to develop their roasting interests and experience fresh roasted coffee at home. With Stephen and his new management team's desire to contribute towards more environmentally conscious equipment, also in 2005, 
Dietrich Manufacturing developed its first catalytic oxidizer, the first successful one in the industry specific to coffee roasting. And yet to end an already fulfilling year, in 2005, Stephen and Martin Dietrich were honored with the Specialty Coffee Association of America's Lifetime Achievement Award. This is the highest award given by the SCAA, described as being in recognition of general career excellence. In 2006, Dietrich Manufacturing hires Marketing and Business Development Manager Sean Contreras as part of the executive management team strategizing growth trends in specialty coffee. He continues the expansion of the international distributor network. In September 2006, realizing its poised position, Starbucks acquires a portion of Diedrich Coffee franchises for their prime retail locations. In 2007, Diedrich Manufacturing Inc. introduces new CR commercial industrial sizes. New products in research and development are the IR1 Kilo, new versions of computer software automation for both IR and CR models, a true laboratory sample roaster, Stevens' evolution of 201 Advanced Roasting Seminar, a catalytic afterburner for both the IR1 Kilo and the HR1 Home Roaster, and a new software application specifically for inventory control, for organic traceability, and the option to link into a retail point-of-sale system. The Dietrich family legacy includes recognition as one of the world's top manufacturers of coffee roasting equipment. So I'm looking into the CR series for, for more capacity, but also I demanded and my employees demand, and I think our customers do, the control over the roast, uh, the, uh, the control over airflow, and, and the increased profiling of, uh, of roasting. Currently we have a CR120 and a CR240 installed in our facility with pretty big future plans for growth. We have the expansion base for additional two roasters, possibly two additional 240 kilo roasters um, with automated systems to load those roasters. We have a lot of plans to grow in the future and um, we know that Dietrich will be uh, involved in those expansion plans. Carl Dietrich invented and hand-built the first roaster his philosophy of roasting was considered near heresy at the time, but is now widely regarded as the best way to roast high-quality coffees. Stephen vastly improved Carl's original concept, utilizing state-of-the-art technology and superior engineering concepts. So we built now the complete systems from the roasters, the catalytic oxidizers, the silos, the control systems that make everything work together. And with that comes the UL listed panel shop, which we allows us and gives us the ability to build control systems for roasting systems for other agricultural products that, to require controls and so forth. Having been with Dietrich Manufacturing for over 10 years, I can honestly say that our daily goal is quality and innovation throughout every part of our engineering and lean manufacturing process. Today, Dietrich Manufacturing is a global coffee roasting equipment manufacturer dedicated to meeting the needs of both in-store and industrial commercial coffee roasting companies. The company has customers in over 70 countries and designs, manufactures and markets one of the broadest portfolios of high quality coffee roasting products. I'd like to leave our customers with the confidence that they chose the highest quality equipment available, but that they are also part of an organization with a vision towards the future in green, environmentally sound coffee roasting equipment, and that we continually refine and improve our equipment and our engineering efforts are focused to the future of a greener, greener roasting environment. Dietrich products have been meeting the specialty coffee industry's unique needs for over 25 years.